Over 99% of our retrofit jobs, including foundations, they get an earthquake activated gas shutoff valve, assuming they have gas service, which is the vast majority of people in this area. It's considered voluntary in Oregon. It is required under the plumbing code now in California. The earthquake activated valve is activated by an earthquake. It shuts off your gas. The valve does know the difference between a passing bus or truck and an earthquake. It knows the difference between a bump and an earthquake. If gas service has been brought into the house since 1993, the gas company has installed an excess flow valve. Once that valve is activated, you're going to have to wait for the gas company to get to you and everybody else in their service district, dig up the street and reset that valve. You may or may not have a rupture in the line downstream. If you do, the gas is shut off, which means the valve under the street will never be tripped. So in theory, at least, you could be back in service as quick as the gas company can restore service to you. Northwest Seismic, at this point, we're probably one or fewer false activations a year, and we probably have several thousands of these in the field, maybe 10,000. The average valve is going to take an hour or two. We need to shut off the gas, in some cases, take apart the meter. We need to remove plumbing. We're inserting about four and a half inches into the plumbing, so we need to remove certain fittings and pipe lengths and replace them with others. We need to carry a wide assortment of all the different fittings and half inch increments in order to do that because sometimes you'll do a dry fit. You'll get this thing assembled and you realize you're off an inch and then you need to tear it down and redo it. And then the valve needs to be braced against the house in case it does get bumped. And then we need to check for leaks. The valve has a simple reset, very intuitive. We turn the gas back on. Typically we need to get inside the house to light a tank style pilot, gas water heater. Sometimes uh, people have old style fireplace inserts with an open flame, we need to relight that. I think once or twice I've sold a gas valve to somebody to install themselves, but honestly, you'll need so many different fittings and you'll spend the day going back and forth to the hardware store. I would not be inclined to do it myself unless I had totes with all those fittings there because it could be a very frustrating experience. And if you don't get that done by the end of the day, guess what? You don't have heat or hot water, or right? You can't cook. The earthquake activated gas shutoff valve is probably dollar for dollar, far and away the most effective use of your resources in terms of uh, preparing for an earthquake. Even if you have a new house, that's something everyone should have. If you just look at statistics from earthquakes, the vast majority of damage is from gas fires, much, much more than the earthquake itself. And if you look at the cost of a gas valve compared to the cost of a retrofit, and honestly, if you had to choose one or the other, get the gas valve. It's maybe 10% of the cost of the average retrofit. Even if your house is severely damaged, well, after an earthquake, if it hasn't gone up in flames, then maybe you can get in and you know get some important stuff out of there.